Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is Andex259, your Mutant Football League Sim League Commissioner, once again, because Grim Blitzrow, Brickhead Mulligan, and Bricks Jr. couldn't be bothered to show up. This is game two of our Monday night doubleheader between the Purple Mutant Eaters and the Philadelphia Evils. So let's go ahead and get on started. We are going to be bringing to you this game live from Too Big to Fail Financial Stadium in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Today's uh, MTOS sponsor has now been confirmed. It will be the IMP, the Immediate Murder Professionals, for when you want the living to join your ass in hell. The captains are now lining up to see who will win the toss. They've thrown the imp, and he has landed ass side up. It looks like the Philadelphia Evils will receive the, will win the toss, and will later make a determine whether or not to start the half with the ball, or defer it to the second half. Once again, it was sponsored by IMP Immediate Murder Professionals. When you want a living, to join your ass in hell. CEO Blitzo, the O is silent. And it does look like the Philadelphia Evils did win the toss and will receive the ball for the first half. That means Purple Mutant Eaters will receive the second half kickoff. And here we go, Tyrant Eagle, the burn returner, to take the ball down to the 36-yard line before being tackled. They will now start the proceedings, first and 10. Teams are now lined up. Ball is snapped. Heading straight to Vile Slanders. The running back and has not been taken down. Now it's finally been taken down at the opposing 49-yard line. It is now first and 10. The chains have moved. Waylon Hurts receives the ball and has now passed it over to Waylon Reaper. Running wide receiver and is taken down at the opposing 20-yard line. That was a gain of 28 yards, I believe. It is once again first and 10. Philadelphia Evils immediately putting up some yards on the staff board. Raylan Hurts is going to try and run the ball himself. And that didn't get very far. Only a gain of one yard. It is second and nine. Ball on the opposing 20-yard line. They are technically now in the red zone. Let's see what he will do here. Raylan Hurts to receive the snap. Sends it over to Raylan Reaper, and we have a touchdown. Philadelphia Evils, no penalty on the play. An amazing performance by the combination of Waylon Reaper and Waylon Hurts. Now it is time for them to decide what they're going to do here. They're going to go for the one-point extra point attempt. The ball is snapped, and it goes through the uprights for the extra point. An easy chip shot. It's kind of very difficult to uh, mess that up, but it has been messed up before. Anyway, they will now kick off the ball. Purple Mutant Eaters to receive. Wolf gets burned. Burn returner. We'll try to return it, but gets clobbered at the 32-yard line. It is now 1st and 10. Purple Mutant Eaters ball. As you know, there is blood rain and blood lightning all over there. Whoa! We got a speed boost, ladies and gentlemen, by Wolven Crook. Speed boost, dirty trick, and that is a one-and-done touchdown. That was ultra-fast, and of course, there's a bullshit penalty. That is definitely going to be reversed. 10-yard penalty on Purple Mutant Eaters for liking the ending of Green Game of Bones. I actually do agree with you. The, um, the Game of Bones was even worse than the final season of Game of Thrones. And, of course, the ref is going to get slaughtered. Now, Philip May Pockets will be brought in to replace them. Uh, make sure you get that 15-yard penalty in. There we go. It is now 1st and 35. They are really backed up. Unfortunately, they have already used their speed boost dirty trick. Oh, my goodness, and there was a lightning strike. Oof. 
and unfortunately they won't be able to get very far and they have lost their number eight quarterback quirk buzz in thanks to that unfortunate lightning strike i don't think that was the result of a dirty trick it does tend to get crazy at these uh mutant football league stadiums well then quirk sends it over adam Steelen. With a lot of up arrows around him. Still not going to be able to get taken down. And it looks like they might be able to take it all the way to the house. Mind the holes. Mind that mine. There's one more hole he needs to jump over. There he goes. Slides it in and touchdown. The bribery dirty trick was already used for the half. So the touchdown is definitely going to stick this time. Philadelphia Evils were only able to delay the inevitable. Adam Steelen credited with the touchdown. We have numbers 96 and 91 on the defense for the Philadelphia Eagles having to go to the sidelines to nurse some injuries. Purple Mutant Eaters will attempt a chip shot field goal for the extra point. It's up. It's good. Pretty standard. We head straight to the kickoff. Lines up, Philadelphia Evils. Ooh, watch that lightning. Set to receive. Tyrant Eagle, burn returner. Taking it past the 30, now past the 35. Oh, didn't make it to that line. Is backed up a yard. Ball will be spotted on the team's own 34 yard line. It is first and 10. Raylan Hurts sends it straight to the running back. Lots of up arrows. Waylon Reaper. Oh, that was a double pass play. Nice going. Definitely not going to get tackled anytime soon. Everyone's trying to get onto the wide receiver. They still can't bring him down. And now they will get him down. It is a touchdown. No penalties on the play. We have an ultra high scoring affair to start the game. Already three touchdowns. And that was indeed I was officially confirmed it was a Warred Rage dirty trick. They will now attempt a uh, chip shot for the extra point. Snap, place, kick. Boom. Through the uprights for the extra point. Philadelphia Evils now leads the proceedings 14 to 7. We will now, they will now kick off. Purple Mutant Eaters to receive. Wolf gets burned. We'll try to take it past the 35, and that's as far as he'll be able to go. They'll start to drive from that position. First and 10. Ball snapped. Spawn Minion, the quarterback, will pass it over. Um, originally to their star wide receiver, but he Failed to catch the ball. It is an incomplete pass. Second down, 10 yards to go. Now they're going to hand it to Wolven Cook, the running back, and only a gain of two on the play. It is third down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 37. All right. Team's lined up. Quarterback receives the snap. Looking for a receiver on a pass play. Sends it over to Bustin Jetson. Oh my goodness, they were super close to that mine. Has not detonated. That got real dicey there. It is now first and ten. Spawn Minion will keep the drive alive with the ball going past the yellow line. It is another first down. Ball this time on the opposing 18. Purple Mutant Eaters now officially in the red zone. Snaps the ball. Hands it straight to the running back. A gain of five yards. Ball be spotted on the opposing 14-yard line. It is second down, five yards to go. The team is looking... They're tasting touchdown. Here we go. Spawn your minion, the quarterback, sending the ball over to Wolven Crook, the running back. Just managed to get it past the yellow line. It is another first down. Ball will be spotted on the opposing six yard lines. It is now first and goal. Spawn minion, the quarterback, is going to have to head to the sidelines as he is injured for the time being. 
new quarterback. It is a well roll. Will receive the ball. Hands it over to running back. Well, then Crook. And apparently, did he manage to get, get it past the line? All the officials are saying no. He was just inches away. Ball will be placed on the one-inch line. Second and goal. And the quarterback is going to try and take it in himself, but gets sacked for a loss of two. Third down and goal. I never heard of that place, and quite frankly, I kind of don't want to ever hear about that place. Anyway, they're going to receive the ball. Oh, never mind. That is the end of the first quarter, Philadelphia Evils. Leads it 14 to 7. Our first quarter break is brought to you by our first quarter sponsor, Visit Mississippi. Just fucking don't. Third and goal now. They take it to the other side of the field. And that is an easy run play. Finally gets it in. Touchdown, Purple Mutineers. They are now just one point away from tying up the proceedings. Well, given your stats today, you definitely do deliver. Killed off uh, Purple Mutant Eaters will now attempt a chip shot for an extra point. Ball is snapped. Kicks right through. And now the game is tied. Just like that, we have a brand new ball game. We are leveled at the 14s. Purple Mutant Eaters will now kick off to the Philadelphia Evils. And we'll send it over to Tyrant Eagle. Making it past the 30. And we'll only gain an additional yard after that. They will start the proceedings at the 31 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Snaps the ball to Waylon Hurts. Looking for a receiver. Ooh, nice powerful play. It's intercepted by Garrison Smith, the safety for the Purple Mutant Eaters. Ooh, nice going. Garrison Scythe. Nice going. Um, not Eight grand on Eastley? Boy, I could... Boy, the last set of furry paws I managed to get was only 21 grand. What kind of discounts you been getting, boy? Anyway, Wolven Crook will take the ball. Second and four. They are very, very, very close. To the first, to the touchdown line. Spawn minion to receive the ball. Oh, speedy the snack, but gets sacked on the play. Loss of, I think, 12 yards. Ouchies. And that is JT Deadwood's second sack of the game. Nice going. And he's credited with five tackles. Amazing performance by this defender. It is now third down, 14 yards to go. Ball on the opposing 37-yard line. Spawn Minion to receive the snap. Looking for a receiver. Picks it up by Bustin Jettison and manages to take it past the yellow line. Amazing performance by the receiver. And that will keep the drive alive. A new set of downs. First and 10. Ball on the opposing 19. They are now officially in the red zone. Sends it over to Wolven Crook. And that's not going to go anywhere. They are backed up a yard. It is second down, 11 yards to go. Spawn Minion sends it over to Adam Steele. And, oh, and it gets slaughtered on the play. It's a fumble. Philadelphia Evils is going to recover it, and they all go into the hole. We definitely got some dead bodies here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Adam Stealing, wide receiver, is officially dead and out for the rest of the game. Spawn Minion... And another player is injured. Number 29, DeMonte Radox is injured. He'll be out for the time being. Philadelphia Evils will receive the ball after a recovered fumble at their own 21-yard line. It is first and 10. Waylon Hurts, the quarterback, is going to try and take it in himself. That was a bad idea. Loss of one. Second down, 11 yards to go. Ball on their own 19. Waylon Hurts sends, receives the ball, sends it over to Vile Slanders, the running back, 
and is taken down after going past the midfield. Now spotted at the opposing 47-yard line, and Waylon Hurts is going to have to go to the sidelines. He is injured. He'll have to get a substitution for the time being. It is now first and ten. Barker Ginzu, the quarterback for this team, is now sending a ooh motorball. Don't get out of the way. Oh, looks like we got a dead body. Did not get out of the way in time. That is a first down. Ball will be spotted on six yard lines, and we will lose number 23, Xavier Hoods. He is officially dead. And Barker Ginsu, another quarterback, now injured. He's gonna have to go back to the sidelines for the time being. Things just getting very ugly out there on the field. Philadelphia Evils, first and goal ball on the six. And that is an easy roll into the first down line. Number 26, Vile Slanders credited for the six yard rush for the touchdown. That's his second touchdown of the game. And he's gotten and he's got pretty good. He's only rushed twice, but got 20.4 yards in total. That's an amazing job. They will now attempt a chip shot field goal attempt for the extra point. Snap, place, kick through the uprights. Standard procedure, ladies and gentlemen. It is almost impossible to mess it up. Yet some of our kickers managed to do that. All right, they will now kick it right off. Ooh, nice kick, but it will easily get returned by Ulf gets burned. And he'll take it to the 34-yard line to start the next proceedings for the Purple Mutant Eaters. It is first down, 10 yards to go. Spawn Minion receives the snap, sends it over to Defiler Conquers. Not very often you see an orc be a wide receiver, but hey, he got the yardage that they needed. They'll, they'll get a fresh set of downs. And they're on the opposing 49 yard line. Great position for them. First and 10. We'll try to. Oh, gets his neck snapped right there. Sends it off to running back. But they will have to back up to the other 49-yard line, their own. It is second down, 12 yards to go. Spawn Minion receives the snap. Sends it over to Bustin Jettison, wide receiver. And it makes it past the 30-yard line. Gets taken down at the 29. Fresh set of downs. Spawn Minion is going to have to go to the sidelines now. He is injured. And we are now officially at the two-minute warning. Two-minute warning once again sponsored by Visit Mississippi. Just fucking don't. And now they will send it to Wolven Crook, the running back. And gets Powell driven on the 25-yard line. Second down, five yards to go. Killeen Hound, the quarterback number 11, is injured and is going to have to go to the sideline. And the Purple Mutant Eaters will take their first timeout of the half. They have two timeouts remaining. Sends it over to Wolven Crook. Oh, nice going. Manages to make it all the way past the uh, first down line and is now going to be taken down at the 13-yard line. Timeout by Purple Mutant Eaters. That was their second timeout. They have one remaining. It is now first and 10. Ball on the 13. They could still get the first down and not a touchdown. It's a bloodbath to receive the snap. Sends it over to Defiler Conquers. And that's going to be a touchdown for the Purple Mutant Eaters. Amazing performance. That will be his first uh, touchdown of the game. Two receptions, 30.5 yards total. Nice going. They will now set up the field goal unit for the extra point to tie up the ball game. And just like that, we have a brand new ball game. We are leveled at the 21s. Neither team giving up. Both of these want the win extremely badly. This is a battle of attrition. Who wants it more? 
I just like to remind you that the Philadelphia Evils are 1 and 0 going into this contest. Purple Mutant Eaters are 0 and 1. Philadelphia Evils had returned the ball and made it all the way to their own 42 yard line. That's a good return. First and 10. Raylan Hurts will send it. Oh, we got a fumble on the play. Oh my goodness. I don't know what in the world happened, but he lost the ball. Purple Mutant Eaters will pick it up. It could be a return for a touchdown. And it was probably because of the Gigantism Mutant Trick. 27 Slammer and Lan Ransler will be credited for recovering the fumble. And Purple Mutant Eaters in incredible position to start their next drive. They're just three yards away from the touchdown. It's first and goal. Von Minion looking for a receiver. And that is an easy, easy three-yard pickup for the touchdown. Purple Mutant Eaters now take the lead. Number 18, Bustin' Jettison, credited with the touchdown. That's his first of the game. Fifth reception, 87.2 yards total. This guy is on a roll. They will now set up the field goal for the extra point. Snap, place, kick. Ooh, that was an ultra-high kick that time, but it still goes through the uprights over the crossbar. That is a field goal. And now they will kick it off to the Philadelphia Evils. They will definitely not want to go into the locker rooms for halftime trailing. They want to get in the lead. Tyrant Eagle was able to, well, we're... Return it to the 36-yard line. They'll have to start the proceedings from there. First and 10. 36 seconds to go in the first half. Sends it over to Waylon Hurts. And... Ooh! Sticky ball! Ouch. That hurt. That definitely hurt. Ragnar Lodbrook will be credited with the sack. That's his first tackle and first sack of the game. And a timeout now by the Philadelphia Evils. They really want to go into the locker room with a tied score. Waylon Hurts to receive the snap. Looking for a receiver. And will instead take it himself. Um, I think he should probably just go. Oh, four seconds left. If they're going to call a timeout, they need to do it quickly. And they will with just one second left to go in a half. This will be the last play of the half. Hurry up, boss defense. Now been activated. Waylon Hurts needs to go all the way to the house this time. And they will not be able to do it. Purple Mutant Eaters will be heading into the locker room with a seven-point lead at halftime. Your halftime sponsor is Spirit Airlines. Hey, we got you there alive. What the fuck else do you want? Take a look at the uh, halftime stats. Purple Mutant Eaters leading in first downs. And we are now starting the third quarter. Take a look at what the captains have to say to their um, lock to their locker room at halftime. It's pretty much like the education system right here in America. Not very good. Anyway, Purple Mutant Eaters to receive the second half kickoff. Off gets burned to return the ball. Pass to 30. 35. Might slip. 40. 45. Woo! That is a great return. Off gets burned. Great start for the team. Number 75, Brian O'Steele um, fell into the sideline blood pit and will have to be taken to the, to the bench for the time being. It is now first and 10 ball on their own 45. Snaps the ball, sends it over to Wolvencrook, the running back, and gets clobbered in the backside of his head for a loss of three. Second down, 13 yards to go. Sends the ball, Spawn Minion, looking for a receiver. Sends it over to Bustin Jettison. Nice going, working the gaps. Oh, look out! Woo! That was so close to the mines there. Did not get an explosion. That's his sixth reception of the game. 121.7 yards total is credited for a touchdown early in the game. It's now first to ten. 
Ball on the opposing 23-yard line. Wolven Crook to, re to run with the ball. Gain of five yards this time around. It is now second and five. Ball on the opposing 18. They are now in the red zone. Bon Minion. Quarterbacks the ball. Over to Wolven Crook, the running back. Oh, and is sent into the blood pit. He's definitely going to have to go to the sidelines for the time being. They're going to have to adjust their strategy a little bit if they expect to make the touchdown. Number 91, Bletcher Rocks is injured and is going to have to go to the sidelines. They do get a fresh set of downs on the six-yard line. It is first and goal. Von Minion will take it in himself. That's a touchdown, Purple Mutant Eaters. But we have a bullshit penalty to back him up 10 yards. Oh, come on. Another bullying penalty? That's ridiculous. You guys are not really coming up with more original stuff. And, of course, they didn't like the unoriginality of that either. So they will kill him. Oh, look at this. We got the legendary Build a Shill Hill as the new referee for for this match. And once and that's going to be a 15-yard uh, penalty. First and goal ball on the opposing 31-yard line. Spawn minion. Yikes! Oh, woo. Oh, boy. Yeah, I think we may need the punter to warm up instead of the kicker. What a sack. 97, Raven Shallowgrave credited with that sack right there. Wow. And we got two players dead, number 58 and number 29. Both dead and gone. They're out for the rest of the game. I don't know what exactly happened. I didn't remember a, an explosion or anything like that. But anyway, we are going to send it into second and goal. Ball on the 43-yard line. Master Meter Splatter said, not going anywhere. That is just absolutely out there. It is now third and 37. Or third and goal. Ball on the 37. Holy. Yeah, just warm up either the punter or the kicker. Oh, and it's been intercepted. Philadelphia Evils will pick up the ball thanks to the Beast Mode Dirty Trick. Hack McPherson credited with the interception. That's his first of the game and his first of the 2022 season. And I believe that is his 35th career interception. This guy is a beast. He's only been in the league for six years. Waylon Hurts starting the proceedings. First and 10 ball on the 48. And we got a murder ball dirty trick sent to Dem Dementia Scythe. The wide receiver, and they will get a first down. No need to call an ambulance. Just skip right to the hearse. And we do have a lost player, number 58, Maniac Pierce. Dead and gone out for the rest of the game. Just a reminder, all players are brought back to life and resurrected once the game is over. But only after the game, of course. Waylon Hurts. Quarterback receives... Waylon Reaper, wide receiver, and is taken down for first down. Fresh set of chains. 14-yard line opposing. They're now in the red zone. First and 10. Still can get the first down without getting a touchdown. Ball snap to Waylon Hurts. Looking for a receiver. Sends it over. Um, Was sent over to a star wide receiver, but it was dropped. Incomplete pass, second and 10, ball on the 14. Sends it over to Vile Slanders and gets backed up two yards. Third down, 12 yards to go. Kicker is warming up just in case. Sent over to Waylon Hurts for the snap. Looking for a receiver, finds it! Touchdown, Philadelphia Evils. Number 26 credited for receiving a touchdown pass. I think that's his third touchdown of the game. It is. Total receptions of 17.7 yards off four attempts. 
And number 27, Slammer and Ransler is dead and gone. Waylon Hurts, number one, is going to have to head to the sidelines. He is out for the time being. And they'll just need a chip shot, extra point attempt to tie up the game. Extremely impossible to mess it up, and they don't mess it up. And once again, we have a brand new ball game. The lead has been changing back and forth all game. Either one of these teams can win it. It is We are leveled at the 28th. Purple Mutant Eaters. Lolf gets burned to receive the ball and will attempt to return it. Makes it past the 35 and is taken down by a demon. He'll start the proceedings at the 33-yard line, first and 10. Sends it over to Small. Oh, we got a Void Rage. Dirty trick. Wolf and Blitz. Oh, no, what happened? Had a great, powerful pass, but there was nobody home. Like, literally, there was nobody home. That should have been a... Uh, Potential grounding penalty. Wow. Okay, so that was a big waste of a worried rage dirty trick. Second and ten. Ball on to 33. And get stuffed. Get stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Third down, ten yards to go. Spawn minion to receive the ball. Looking for a receiver. And we'll find one and Gris hurt them. And we'll attempt to just jump over. Oh, look at this. He's, he's gaining yards for the team. Oh, and it's a fumble. I don't know what in the world just happened there. And gets gets his face slammed into that steel wall. Malek Sing Shingleton credited with the interception. And that means Philadelphia Evils will now start their fresh set of downs at their own 30-yard line. It is first and 10. Vile Slanders gets a gain of six. Oh boy, this is a very chaotic game. Waylon Hurts, once again, going to need to go to the sidelines. One minute to go in the third quarter. And we'll now send it to Barker Ginzu, the quarterback. Dementia Scythe, wide receiver, receives the ball. And is taken down after a massive gain. They're just one yard shy of the end zone. It is first and ten. Teams lines up. Ball snaps in straight to the running back. And gets a gain of nine yards. Second down, one to go. Ball on the opposing 12-yard line. They are now officially in the red zone. And that will do it for the third quarter. We are leveled at the 28th. Their third quarter break sponsor is Kiwi Farms. Does anybody know how to get us back online? We've been down for well over a month. We are now starting the fourth and final quarter of the game. And we have a double pass play. And that's going to be a touchdown by the Philadelphia Evils. No penalty on the play. It will stick. Philadelphia Evils now take the lead. I see your 10 kegs of beer, and I'm going to raise you 21 kegs of beer and 15 barrels of whiskey. Hey, hey, even the Simley Commissioner is a bit of a party animal, I'll tell you what. Anyway, we're going to snap the ball, hopefully get a kick through for an extra point. And just like that, Philadelphia Evils lead by 7 points. It is 35 to 28 in their favor. Purple Mutant Eaters to receive the kickoff. They send it over. Wolf gets burned. Will attempt to return it. Past 30. 35. Oh, try to reach the 40, but gets wrestled down at the 37. They'll just have to start the drive from there. It is first and 10. Ball is placed right there. Staff to quarterback sent straight to the running back. Well, then Crook. Nice gain of play, and directly slammed at midfield. It is a first and 10. 6.28 left in the game. Purple Mutant Eaters would like to get a touchdown, get back in this one. Spawn Minion sends it over. Wolven Crook 
Nice. Nice gain. That was definitely a gain of 30 yards on that play. Wolven Crook, 30, 11 attempts, 36 yards total. He's just been on a roll. Spawn Minion, quarterback, is going to have to go back to the sidelines. They're sending out a substitute now. Killeen Hound, the quarterback of the play, receives the snap. Sends it over to the receiver, number 18, and it's a touchdown. Once again, this has been a major back-and-forth game. Bustin Jettison credited with his second touchdown of the game. 142 yards total. This guy is just tearing up the game. They will now attempt an extra point to level this field. Kick, place, I mean snap, place, kick, yeah, whatever. We once again have a new ball game as we are leveled at the 35s. Amazing performance by everybody here. They will now kick the ball over to Tyrant Eagle, who will attempt to return. Tyrant Eagle making it past the 35, only to get... Thrown over the shoulder and having his back slammed ooh, hard on the on the mat. At the 38-yard line, it is first and 10. Waylon Hurts. Put it back. Oh, nearly gets his neck snap there. They did not go anywhere on that play. It is second down, 10 yards to go. Once again, the ball is on the their own 38. Philadelphia Evils trying to get things going. Waylon Hurts. Put it back. And sends the ball over to Vile Slanders. Almost passed. Almost was an illegal lateral forward lateral pass. But he kept both his feet behind the line of scrimmage. And they will get a they will get the move to change for a fresh set of downs. First and ten. Ball on the opposing 28. Vile Slanders looking for a double pass play. But gets taken down for a loss of 11. Oof. They read that play like a textbook. Which is kind of saying something because half of these players are illiterate. Waylon Hurts receives the snap. Sends it on over. Oh, what just happened? He had a great pass play. Wide receiver literally dropped the ball there. That is, ugh. He is definitely going to be hearing about that in the locker room. They'll try it again. Third down, 21 yards to go. Wide range, dirty trick in play. Waylon Hurts looking for the killy special. Makes it past the first down line. Oh, he might make it all the way to the... ha -ha! And that is a touchdown. Philadelphia Evils with six points. No penalties. And now they have taken the game back into the lead. He is credited with a third touchdown of the game. Ramon Bloodedson. Number 94 is sent to the sidelines. Philadelphia Evils looking to attempt an extra point attempt to get into a seven point lead. Snap, place, kick, all the way through. And now the Purple Mutant Eaters down by seven, they will receive the kickoff. Over to Ulf gets burned, wanting to make a good return. And deny. He gets stuffed at the 34-yard line. That's where they'll have to start the proceedings. It is first and 10. Ball snap sent to the running back, Wolven Crook. Oh, and we have a pen. Oh, we got a fumble on the play after that lightning strike. Rodney McPlowhead to recover the fumble and take it to the 15-yard line. Philadelphia Evils now with an opportunity of a lifetime to go 2-0. No penalties on the play. And Wolven Crook is now dead and gone. He will be out for the remainder of the game. 325 left in the fourth quarter. Philadelphia Evils in fantastic position. Waylon Hurt sent it to the receiver. And literally nobody was home. Only the defenders. Thank goodness that was sent down. Otherwise, that would have been embarrassing. Anyways, it is now second and ten. Ball on 15. Waylon Hurts. Foul Slanders now. Makes it past the yellow line. It is 
first and goal on the four yard line. Three minutes to go in the final quarter of the game. Philadelphia Evils looking to get into a two possession lead. Waylon Hurts takes the ball. Into it himself, touchdown. That is his fourth credited touchdown of the game. Hey, I agree with you there. And the results are results are there. It shows. They will now attempt a an extra point attempt. And just like that, Philadelphia Evils are now in a two touchdown lead by 14 points. It is 49-35 in their favor. Corporal Mutant Eaters with only 250 left. They need to get things going quickly. Wolf gets burned receive the ball uh oh mind that mine and it's taken down at the 38 yard line it is first and ten purple mutant eaters desperate to get things back going fun minion receives the snap sends it over to ko scorn nice play great gain Move the chains, fresh set of downs. It is first and 10, ball on the opposing 32 yard line. Lots of uh, red blood lightning strikes this this evening. Oh, says it, oh, we got, we got speed boost, speed boost. And is taken down, oh, good Lord. Running back is definitely gonna need to go to the sidelines. He is worse for wear. First and 10, ball on the 14. Hurry up offense now in place. The two minute warning was made. And the Purple Mutant Eaters look like they're gonna get a touchdown. No penalties. Keen Nufengu credited with the touchdown. That's his first of the game. Well, he definitely earned that touchdown bonus tonight. I'll tell you what. Anyway. They will now attempt a chip shot to get this game lead back down to seven. Once again, this has been a light up the scoreboard kind of game. Both of these teams, they want the win. Philadelphia Evils, they want to stay undefeated this season. Meanwhile, the Purple Mutant Eaters, they want to uh, spoil it and get a win on the board for the first time this season. And they will make a return at the 34. Didn't go to where, uh, didn't go too far. 141 left in the game. Philadelphia Evils looking to run the clock all the way down to zero and seal into. Oh, we got a gigantic some. Oh, they will recover the fumble thanks to that dirty trick. And the purple mutant eaters. A fumble six on the play. No penalties. And just like that, we're about to have a brand new ball game. I can't tell you how many times this game has been back and forth. I think this is what, the uh, fifth time we uh, got the game to a tie score? Fifth or sixth, I can't remember. But anyways, they will now attempt a chip shot extra point. And it goes through. And for the sixth time, fifth or sixth, we have a brand new ball game. This time we are leveled at the 49s. Philadelphia Evils. They definitely want to get some scores in before clock runs out. They do not want to go into overtime. A little fun fact. Philadelphia Evils are currently 0-11 the last 11 times they had to go into overtime. So they do not want to go into overtime this game. Well, it hurts. Quarterback. Looking for a receiver. Dementia sl Oh! Wide receiver gets a first down and a trip to the sidelines. They are definitely injured. Alongside number 22 and number 24. Philadelphia Evils will definitely need to uh, figure something else out. Why are they not calling a timeout? They lost the last 11 times they went to overtime. Are you sure that's a good idea? And they're going to run the ball? Okay, I, I have no idea what the Philadelphia Evils think they're trying to do here, but um, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. 
Waylon Hurts, quarterback, sends it over to the receiver, Demandra Scythe! Oh, gets stuffed at the one! Gets stuffed at the one! 17 seconds left to go. It is first and goal. Stopped from a touchdown with 10 seconds left. This could be the last play of regulation. Can they run it in for the touchdown? Snap the ball, snap. Oh! They did not snap the ball in time, and that means with a 49-49 score, we're heading into overtime. This official overtime imp toss is sponsored by Immediate Murder Professionals. When you want the living to join your ass in hell. CEO Blitzo, the O is silent. We are now heading to overtime. Here's how this goes. The game clock is turned off. Whoever gets the touchdown scores. If the team that receives the first possession scores a field goal, they must allow the other team a chance to match or better the score. If the scores are still tied or if nobody scores after both teams had their first possessions, we go to sudden death. Next score wins. Philadelphia Eagles won the imp toss for overtime and will start the overtime proceedings with the ball in hand. They do not want to lose any possessions. A touchdown will immediately win the game for them. And remember, they lost the last 11 times they went to overtime. So... Anything can happen here. Sends it over to the running back. Past the yellow line. It is a first down. Ball's now on the opposing 49-yard lines. A touchdown here will win the game for the Philadelphia Eagles. If they have to kick a field goal, they must allow the Purple Mutant Eaters a chance to match or better. Waylon Hurts sends it over. Waylon Raper gets it in. 15-yard lines. Great gain of the play. It is now first and 10. They're now in the red zone. They're getting very close. They want to get a six pointer and end the game and hopefully end the 11 game overtime losing streak. Biles Landers. Oh, they make it past the first down but get stopped at the two. First and goal, ball at the two. Purple Mutant Eaters, they are panicking right now. They need to make this stop and keep the game alive. It's not going to happen. Are we going to see a penalty? No, we will not. Philadelphia Eagles get in the touchdown, and that will do it. Philadelphia Eagles remains undefeated this season. And talk about a division. Malice Hellboys, New York Tyrants, Tokyo Terminators, and now the Philadelphia Eagles, all with a 2-0 record in their division. What a victory for the Philadelphia Eagles in overtime. They snap the 11 game losing streak. Waylon Hurts is going to be the MVP of the game. Wow. Once again, the final score, Philadelphia Eagles 55 to 49 in overtime. Final score game stats is brought to you by my 32 ounce stainless steel water bottle. I'm definitely gonna be needing it after this video is concluded. Holy crap. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. We'll see you next time.